Well, of course, it's much easier to shop from home than fighting crowds at the mall. Jerika Duncan shows us what brick and mortar retailers are doing to compete with the online giants. Retail stores are working hard to get as much out of Black Friday as the consumers, many offering deep discounts to cash in. But it's been a tough year for some of America's most iconic stores. The nation's largest toy retailer, Toys R Us, shuttered stores nationwide. Sears filed for bankruptcy in October, and other big stores weighed down by debt, like J.C. Penney and Macy's, have closed hundreds of stores in the last couple of years. Despite that reality, brick-and-mortar stores are still king, says retail analyst Lee Holman. Over 80 percent of all retail sales go through bricks-and-mortar stores. While online shopping has become easier, retailers are integrating the online and in-store shopping experience. The new concepts that are coming on board are things like buy online and pick up in store, you know, ship from store. These things still need a store presence close to the consumer. Some retailers are getting out of the malls and moving closer to the consumer. Target is opening more small format stores nationwide, like this one in Manhattan. The stores will be located in urban areas and other places where there may not be room for a traditional Target store. Retailers can thank the job market for a strong 2018 and a holiday season that's expected to keep them in the black well after today. This is a year where people just seem ready to shop at all income brackets. And so retailers are telling investors that they anticipate a good holiday season. And we'll see in a few months what actually happened. There are about 2.7 million more Americans in the workforce this year compared to last year. And by the looks of it, JB, many of them are out here looking for a bargain, which, of course, is what retailers were hoping for. Well, Jerika didn't have to journey very far to New Jersey. Thanks so much, Jerika.